All right, Mr. Um, Ravarayam. So today we looked at the while loop, and in fact, a general discussion between a while and a for loop. So, and we did a guessing game problem in which the user, which is player two, the second user, uh, the player two has uh, unlimited chances to guess a particular number which has been thought by player one. So, the pseudocode that we wrote was uh, this. We discussed two different algorithms. One was using the variable, uh, initializing the variable using some assignment statement. And uh, if we keep this uh, to any value which should be different from player one, then obviously this condition will get true the first time. And then the first guess will, guess will be done inside this loop. And then, then, then the loop starts uh, to behave as as per normal. The other algorithm was using input. In fact, this was the first algorithm that a simple one that you take input from player one and two and then the first time just consider the while as as of if statement. So if the player one and player two values are not equal then player two has to input again, guess again. And this goes on until player one and player two values are same. When they get equal then this becomes false because this is a not equal to operator and for equal values this will become false so then it will get out of this block just like an if statement if the condition is false it gets out of the block and then once it gets out it will print that the player gets an award let's convert this to uh, our C program so I have an empty program already made and you should also have this uh, just to save some time. So let's convert these statements. Uh, input statements convert to scanf statements. So let's just add a scanf. And for simplicity, let's just talk about integers. So this is input player one. Then comes input player two. Alright, so now there is a need to initialize the variables. So in player 1, initialize them to 0. 